All right, it says I am live. Uh, it says, let's try this again. And uh, we'll see if this internet, I've just uh, hooked up to my <laughs> hotspot on my phone because that uh, internet here at the hotel did something. But let's try again. Um, all right, it is 7.13, so or it's 13 after the hour. So hopefully that means you're about to uh, uh, see me and you get to see this beautiful sunset. So let me repeat what I already said. So if you heard this the first time, just, just stick with me. I'm Dr. Boz coming to you live on Saturday, Sunday night, and I am here in New York City. I am at um, the Press Lounge, which has uh, been this wonderful, beautiful event on top of... Uh, uh, on a rooftop here in New York. Uh, we get to see the sunset happen as this live unfolds and we're gonna take on some uh, good old keto education here for you while that happens. Um, with, um, with the live stream happening behind me, I just would love to see that your comments show you can hear me and see me. Um, and then I'm gonna do a quick little lesson I've got prepared about the top five reasons folks should be keto. Uh, we're doing this again, like I said, from the rooftop at the um, the press lounge. And if you ever need to just blow your mind with one of the best uh, uh, visuals of the New York City skyline, this is your place. Uh, you can't find a better <laughs> backdrop than what I've just found here. So I am looking to see if uh, the comments are working and um, I'm seeing that the only comments I have are mine. So keep, uh, keep posting and if you can hear and see me, it just really does encourage me to keep going and eventually, oh, here we go. Oh, it is not, okay, let's just see. If I'm testing, uh, can you see this? Um, so, in uh oh perfect i think it is working okay so who knows what my i've got a couple gl little glitches going on here um i do have a great show planned for you tonight with a quick uh recap on one of the top five reasons i recommend patients go the ketogenic diet again if you're new to my channel i'm dr bosworth i'm an internal medicine physician and i am so um, uh, proud to say that i now stop more prescriptions than i start in my internal medicine clinic and that has everything to do with um, uh, the ketogenic diet, teaching about how to use it and why patients would uh, do that. So we are gonna use your uh, comments for the rest of the format after I do this little lesson. So please uh, write in your questions. Um, as I'm doing this live, I see that my back questions, the ones that I usually kind of um, scroll back to look at are not in uh, the place where I can see them. So it'll be the live questions coming across. So save your questions until I ask for them and then fire away and I will get as many of them as possible. Until then, I love seeing where everybody's from. So thanks for putting that in. And um, if, uh, if you look at the poll that I'm trying to list, ask folks about tonight is, why do you do the ketogenic diet? Um, as I hop over and do this little lesson on my top five reasons for the ketogenic diet, um, use uh, that time to send the, some of those comments through and we will revisit them in just a few minutes. So let's get started with uh, what I find as the best reason for the ketogenic diet. Top five reasons. So we're going to start with number five. Um, number five being um, the, uh, you know, what, the, the point being, what, what are the top five reasons that I think folks should start the ketogenic diet? In the past week, I've moved my son into college. We filled his, uh, uh, his refrigerator with uh, high fat foods for him to uh, have the best first step out of our home into the real world. And uh, he got to hear several times throughout this week, why would people do this? Uh, several people in our path this past week who'd never heard of a ketogenic diet. Uh, but if you're looking for the number five reason, we're going to count down from five to one, it is weight loss. Um, weight loss is actually a chemistry shift that happens in our body where you reduce insulin. That allows you to release those fat storages and man, you can lean up and increase your the strength of your muscles, the power of your brain. But what most people reach for the ketogenic diet for is it's an incredible weight loss. You get that carbs less than 20 per day and you start checking to see if you produce ketones. If you keep ketones floating around in your system, you will, you will have weight loss. Um, I do get several comments about, doctor, doctor, I don't want to lose weight. 
Um, there is a set point that people will get to. Uh, you can't, um, as long as you've got fat supplying to your body, you will get to your ideal body weight and usually um, really stay there. When people have malnourishment and they say, but doc, I'm already fighting Crohn's disease or um, I've just got recovered from chemotherapy, I don't want to lose any more weight. Uh, know that when you're nourishing your body with high fat, it is going to set at a healthy, at a, at a lean body weight that is what we would say is healthy. It's difficult to put that out in numbers today because our society has become so used to being overweight that um, that didn't, uh, doesn't always translate into uh, what, what's happening with um, uh, the best weight loss programs and then what is uh, ideal body weight is often still very overweight for some patients. So number one, number five reason that I recommend for the ketogenic diet is weight loss. I know if you Google keto, it, weight loss is number one, but in my book it's number five for why people would do it. Uh, number four is to reverse your diabetes. I just spent uh, about 10 days in Hawaii, which is number five for the states that have uh, diabetes per capita. There was a dialysis center on nearly every other street corner because their epidemic with diabetes is profound. Uh, it didn't take long to notice that every serving of food came with rice or noodles and um, although they have some high fat foods they they don't keep the carbohydrates low and Hawaii is not the only place but it is a a reminder that if you if you look at the mantra that I've told patients um, and that the textbooks have uh, we still teach medical students is once they get diabetes they can't undo it um, I'm here to tell you that's just not true uh, you can reverse your diabetes getting those carbohydrates less than 20 eating a high fat diet will uh, reverse diabetes um, you know there is of course, the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes, I would encourage all you type 1 diabetics to check out the playlist called uh, that I use to teach Lachlan. She is one of my patients who has been diabetic for over uh, 10 years, and we together started her on insulin, and we together are getting her insulin to the lowest possible dose that she can get away with as a type 1 diabetic. So I know that I left that blank saying reverse diabetes. Her amount of, uh, she'll never get off of insulin. She has type 1 diabetics. But most of the patients I take care of are a type 2 diabetic with way too many carbohydrates and way too much insulin. And they have been told forever that once they get diabetes, they can't reverse it. Um, and I would really encourage you to, to challenge that. Uh, the next, uh, the next uh, number three that I think is that why would people want to do a ketogenic diet and that is anti-inflammatory. If I look in the book Any Way You Can where I, I use this book as my favorite teaching tool for patients, um, it is to show them that when you uh, switch to a ketogenic state, a chemistry state in your system where ketones circulate, the, the powerful answer is that you now reduce the, the extra inflammation or the extra water that's been in your body time and time again uh, that is held there by the excess amount of sugar and excess amount of carbohydrates that you eat. When you uh, uh, circulate ketones consistently, the reversal of inflammation in your joints, in your muscles, in your eyes, in your immune system, it, it, it will blow your mind. It really is an impressive antidote for uh, those inflammatory states. You know, when I first started the ketogenic uh, uh, teachings in my clinic, I, I had no, um, you know, no leader in, in the ketogenic world that really could speak to why was, the, why do these immune system problems get so much better? And it's from thyroid disease to um, other autoimmune diseases like Crohn's disease and uh, rheumatoid arthritis. You know, these are all places where the human body's immune system is attacking itself. And in an amazing fashion, this inflammation um, is uh, reversing because of the enrichment and the restoration of their immune system. And again, I have patients where once they were diagnosed with an autoimmune disorder, I said, there's no chance that you'll be able to reverse that. Um, and I've been wrong. <laughs> I'm happy to be wrong on that one. 
So yes, that's number three. Number two is energy. Boy, uh, you can't uh, miss this one. Between energy and longevity, I was trying, struggling over which one um, would, would make number two. And although longevity is on the list, I thought more people would engage or relate to how much better your energy level is. That sustainable uh, work day, that sustainable function. Uh, you look at some of the athletes who, once their body learns how to use fat for energy, uh, boy, they have just transitioned the power in their um, in their cells to be a, from a fast rapid burning really kind of hot energy that glucose provides you with to the longer you burn fat for energy the longer you use ketones for energy the more sustainable strong powerful um, uh, almost like renewable energy happens at a cellular level and I can't help but be um, you know uh, the recipient of that as I this last week you know helped my son move into his college life and um, you know just watched uh, that what happens when even teenagers or young 20 year olds are overweight and how their energy level will fade because they've they've transitioned those cells into only using carbohydrates and they haven't produced a ketone maybe maybe in their whole life so using that as an, uh, uh, um, one of the top reasons to say, if you're tired, if you're, you're fatigued, if you're trying to perform mentally, which is where most of us you know, get our uh, returns um, in life is, to, is our brain funk, or our energy being sustainable. Um, but that does bring me to my final one. Um, oh, I actually, I put the mitochondria in here to say, it is at this mitochondrial level, these are your powerhouses where energy comes in uh, and if you're fueling just on carbohydrates that it burns really hot and really fast but using a ketone everything from multiple sclerosis to um, several of other mitochondrial disorders are dependent on uh, a sustainable functional energy that doesn't go up and down and the place that that whole equation is taking place at are these tiny little things called mitochondria within within your cells uh, supplying them with ketones, less inflammation, more sustainable energy. And number one, my number one favorite reason that um, I recommend the ketogenic diet and the reason I continue to use the ketogenic diet is brain power. Uh, everything from reversing people's depression to I've had several bipolar 2 disorders that they are off medications, they are now living their life and as long as they produce ketones, their mood is much more stable than it's ever been. Um, uh, in, in addition to that, the, uh, the brain power in several of my elderly patients where they were struggling with memory problems and have kind of walked themselves back away from the edge, uh, is nothing more rewarding as a physician knowing that somebody's headed towards a life of dementia and what that means. And then to walk them away from that by transitioning their fuel from glucose to ketones. Um, personally, I am, I'm an internist, so we think for a living, and you watch a, uh, the transition of my, my clinical practice, my ability to write, my ability to focus. Uh, I am all about a very long, functional workday, and that means my brain needs to be engaged and not distracted. Uh, nothing, nothing motivates me more on, in the world of the ketogenic diet than what it's done for my, my own personal brain power, but also for my patients. And that is that uh, sustainable focus, more stable mood, and improvement in brain function. Of course, this comes uh, you know, from some of the data out there looking at the prescribed diet for uh, uh, patients with seizures uh, as well as uh, you know using the ketogenic diet for uh, enhanced perf mental performance for uh, Navy SEALs and some of the, the, the military tactics that are using now the ketogenic diet for our soldiers. So looking at that uh, I'm really hope as I do that uh, I never get to see what's happening <laughs> Um, uh, with the comments when I do those, uh, when I when I do the PowerPoints like that or do the um, slides like that, so it's nice to see that there's not a whole bunch of we can't see you, we can't hear you. Um, so as I look at that, uh, those top five things, though, I find it amazing how much um, you know. My son has been in our family for the better part of 
uh, you know, in this ketogenic journey for four years now. And he, in Hawaii, I couldn't believe how much he was, had, he had improvement for his understanding and his ability to say, well, why wouldn't you, when you sit down to eat, why would you eat that rice? Why would you tempt yourself with those noodles? Why would you order that? Uh, when you get almost, um, you get the satiety, you get the fullness, and you get um, just a, a better overall feeling in your system um, <laughs> with less amount of money, actually. So especially when we were eating out the first few weeks, that we were in um, the um, that you, we were in um, uh, Hawaii. I, I was amazed at how much uh, of the of the ketogenic diet uh, we could get away with one entree uh, because we were using that as our um, a way to say, well, how are you going to live on a on a budget here in in Hawaii without your parents and you know what's the best way to make your your funds last and it's amazing actually people say oh the ketogenic diet will be so expensive but um, when you get to the phase where you're keto adapted you know a, you know a small portion of high fat foods really it costs less and it is truly uh, very filling so yeah some other <laughs> great uh, lessons that happened over the last week were I taught my son how to make eggs in the mi microwave um, and uh, he did a pretty good job actually I, I'm not I wasn't sure he was uh, ready for all of that but um, he is uh, for sure uh, on a uh, rapid uh, <laughs> rapid uh, um, uh, cooking <laughs> cooking skill uh, of see here I am just trying to see if I can see the comment page on here because I lost it mm, I'm gonna go one more, one more so I can see that your comments now coming uh, I want to do this button here we go you pop out chat awesome okay so I am resetting one little thing so I can see your comments at a little uh, better uh, view and hopes that works oh yes excellent okay so uh, yeah, who knew that you needed to teach the cooking skills for eggs before college? Uh, of course you need to teach that, but I hadn't done that till this past week when I went to say goodbye to my son Prescott uh, and said, yep, uh, you might die if you don't know how to cook eggs in the microwave. <laughs> well, um, so here's some uh, of the things that I give myself a C plus for answering questions during lives. Um, but have committed that today's live, it is uh, half past the hour, so we have about 15 minutes left that I get to be up here in this beautiful uh, rooftop uh, with um, the press lounge here in New York City. I just wanna say once again, thank you for allowing me to do this. If you have any reason why you need to do an event here in New York City, please pick these guys. Not only do they have the best view in town, they were really gracious and really nice to let me uh, sit on their deck and sit over here in the corner where the crowd is kind of not uh, interrupting the sound too badly. Um, but what an amazing antidote for, or what an, what an amazing place to do an event. Um, and I just wanna say thank you to them for letting me do this here in New York City. So we are now going to use your um, comments to help me uh, answer some of these questions. Uh, and in many ways, I've had um, uh, I've answered a lot of questions uh, through these other through other videos. But um, I, I am trying to get much better uh, at answering them during uh, the lives. So I'm going to go to a couple of comments that I saw that I really wanted to make sure and talk about. One of them is Chili 101 and would would you say yes that alzheimer's uh, is helped by um by a ketogenic diet and you know this is a, a very important uh question to answer and that is because the data on this isn't is rather new um where we i have a video out there that shows the energy gap for memory um as as the brain ages and the only fuel you're using to feed that brain is glucose uh, you are going to run out of that uh, restorable renewable energy so if you look at my top five reasons that I got up to number two is energy and I, I showed you that mitochondria if they've only been using glucose in that mitochondria the energy goes up and then it goes down 
and that's very inflammatory for the brain. We know that um, it, that um, Alzheimer's is also known as type 3 diabetes and part of what happens with type 3 diabetes or excessive sugar in the body is that the blood-brain barrier gets fatigued pulling that sugar from the blood stream into the brain and over time it's just not as efficient it becomes insulin resistant and it doesn't supply the brain with enough glucose to do its job so there's an energy gap there's a level of the energy the brain is asking for but the blood-brain barrier is wore out for hauling that glucose from the bloodstream into the brain and then the brain gets sluggish and part of that is presented where they don't they their memory is poor uh, we have se several small studies but with functional MRI showing in a place where memory is um, and, and especially the, the root cause of Alzheimer's is chronic inflammation um, that is improved when people have you know nice healthy sleep schedules low stress but it's also improved with less um, less high, blood, sh blood sugars being controlled at 65 to 75 to maybe 80 blood sugar instead of where most Americans hang out which is 80 90 100 blood sugars that inflames the brain and makes that Alzheimer's worse by adding ketones to their circulation we saw within four days that there had an improvement in mental function but also the functional MRIs on the studies showed that their their brain cells were able to use ketones relatively quickly um, and the, those, those studies I've actually really unpacked uh, pretty thoroughly on some of my other videos. So if you haven't checked those out, I would recommend you do that. Uh, once again, if you are new to the ketogenic diet, the best teaching tool that I use is, um, is my book, Any Way You Can. Uh, it has, uh, I have been so thankful for those of you that have gone and left a book review. I am an independent author and I can't tell you, I had no idea how important book reviews are. Uh, to independent authors. So if you have read the book, please take a minute to go over to Amazon and leave a book review. It really is the way that other people can can be exposed to the book, uh, is the number of reviews the book has. Um, and then people want to know how they can support the channel. I say just buy another book, gift it to somebody. Uh, the story is very compelling. It's written in a way that you can just feel my heart as I explain uh, not just about ketones, but why why is it so important for chronic health diseases? Um, and without uh, without too much more into that, I, I'll tell you, my internal medicine practice has become less and less about writing prescriptions and more and more about, are you coming to the support group? <laughs> are you coming to, how, how do I help you learn this uh, process of uh, about ketones? and it isn't instantly. It takes uh, some time to get your, because it's kind of mind blowing. You say, I'm going to have you eat 80% fat. And people are like, that, that can't be. It doesn't com compute. So if you're in my exam room for 20 to 40 minutes and I'm trying to explain the ketogenic diet on top of take care of whatever else things we need to take care of, uh, you're going to leave disappointed and I'm going to be exhausted. Uh, but when they come to the keto support group each week, uh, a little bit by little bit, they look around the room, they learn from one another. It is like a <laughs> one room schoolhouse uh, where you really do get that experience from, by watching your neighbor and watching them succeed and struggle. So while I was in Hawaii, I asked um, that little um, uh, support group of ketonians to say, no, uh, have a support group, have it meet once a week. I'll try to zoom in and answer some questions every once in a while, but what you will see in a support group is just the behavior change, the psychology of behavior change um, is super uh, powerful in the sustainability of, of this diet. I mean, just like what I would do if some, if in my folks who are recovering from alcohol addiction or um, you know, drug addiction, I would have them go to a support group of how do you change the way that they're behaving. Uh, and eventually their thinking will change as well. I do the same thing with folks who just don't know how to eat an 80% fat diet. How do you get away from that many carbohydrates? Um, and then I tell them, you, you know, pass out the book. Uh, that's a great way for newbies to be welcomed into your support group. But, or have them just watch the playlist on my YouTube channel here called All Things Keto. And there are little bitty videos, like three minutes, five minutes, where I've really just taken that lesson down, and especially if their brain isn't working well and they don't have the stamina to focus. Each week you go through one or two of those videos, and then you check in saying, how's your week been? Where did you struggle? Where did you succeed? And um, 
amazing what happens over the course of the next few weeks. So I think Prescott is going to start a support group on his campus for ketones. So we'll see how that works. It was a good idea when mom was there, but we'll see how he does. <laughs> All right, let's go to some of your other questions. Uh, let's see. Um, mm -hmm. uh, let's see, as a type one diabetic, here's Amanda, as a type one diabetic, now remember type one diabetic uh, diabetics are, they do not make insulin or make very little insulin. Uh, I've lost 11 pounds in the first eight weeks, but I've remained the same in the last three months. Not sure why. Also, my brain is better, um, but she's still struggling a little. So a couple of things. Um, when I look at my type 1 diabetics, you know, they really do have a tough time losing weight. Um, we didn't lose a single weight with, with Lachlan until she started her intermittent fasting. And oh, we are gonna get a sunset behind me, that's so cool. <laughs> I was hoping to sit in this spot so we could see the sunset. Um, sunset from the rooftop in New York City, how cool is that? Uh, so as a type one diabetic, this, ha this stall of weight loss happens with them as well as people with insulin resistance. So insulin resistance just means you've been eating high carbohydrate for such a long time that your body keeps making more and more and more insulin uh, and really doesn't have uh, uh, the ability to, uh, um, to hear the message from insulin as crisp as it should. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's gonna be dysfunctional to, there we go, let's try that. Um, so w with a type one diabetic who's at a weight loss stall, I would really encourage you to step over a threshold where you do some fasting. Please be sure you're using your physician as you do this. Um, uh, you know, Lachlan's had some, some hiccups at learning what she needs to do and how she needs to prepare for uh, uh, her, uh, her intermittent fasting. She'll do half of her insulin on the days when she fasts. Um, at first she did no insulin, but her sugar shot way up. Um, and again, she's gone from an average sugar of about 300 to now average sugars running somewhere in that 120 range, which is an amazing gift of, of life on her health uh, syndrome. Uh, one of the other consequences of her weight loss journey, um, she didn't lose very much weight at first either. She was really just learning how to live with uh, ketones. In her case, I had used ketones in a can every day for two months really just kind of teaching her brain how to use ketones, making sure her cells were ready for the transition when we cut down the carbohydrates and we decreased her insulin. And wow, she did an amazing job. The, the second um, thing that has happened in Lachlan's life is that her son, who really didn't need to lose some weight, uh, he has lost 50 pounds. He is entering his senior year and what a gift to a mother to say, let me show you how to improve your health. And oh, by the way, this thing your son is struggling with, which is to lose weight, it's gonna be just an accidental side effect that as he cuts back his carbohydrates, um, you know, he, he did, it wasn't quite accidental. He really was trying to eat less carbohydrates, but he was a teenager, he screwed it up, and in the end still lost such an amazing uh, amount of weight, um, uh, 50 pounds in six months as a, in your you know, junior to senior year of high school. I mean, that is a gift of confidence, uh, of restoring, here's how you do this for a lifetime. You know, if I would have several of my overweight patients have learned this skill set of decrease those carbohydrates to 20 or less in your teenage years, we would have very few problems we're dealing with them as, a, um, as, a, as an adult. So. Um, let's keep going. We've got a couple more minutes here. I can find some more um, uh, good questions. Um, let's see. Uh, a couple of them. Have... Okay. So there's one by Marta, and she says, uh, actually, she's responding to another page. Let me look a little bit longer to find one. Okay, so here's a great one. It's by Florida Grandpa. Uh, I've been on the keto diet, for si keto diet for six months. These days, my highest glucose is when I'm under stress, say working, uh, say working out or sick, uh, higher than after I eat. Is this normal? 
So uh, Florida grandpa, that is a consequence of years of having high blood sugar. So when you're stressed, cortisol is produced. It's also produced when you sleep, right before you wake up, your, your brain will send a signal of cortisol to your liver to uh, release sugar, from stored sugar from your liver. And in healthy people, there's a little bit of stored sugar, not a lot of stored sugar. But in most of us, there is a, an abundance of stored sugar called glycogen, stored in your liver, and it um, is just waiting for that cortisol to signal it to release. So the other things that cause uh, it, your, your glucose to respond or to release is, um, is when you're stressed, your body will produce cortisol. It is important. Your body's under attack, it's under stress, and this is how your system knows that it's going to need fuel to deal with this. Um, I would say without a doubt, um, you know, this is a protective mechanism that we've abused in today's world. Because of that abuse, we overproduce cortisol, we're chronically under high stress. And so on the ketogenic diet, you'll see those sugars come down, and then as soon as you produce cortisol, boom, there's all of this stored glucose that's been waiting in your liver, and now it gets to release. So you say, well, how do you fix that? And the answer is intermittent fasting. And so I don't, I don't know how old you are, but by the you know, Florida grandpa, I'm gonna guess over 65. So if you are over 65 and you're trying to do fasting, boy, I would, I would definitely be starting a support group. Uh, it, it's just hard to learn how to do this. And I've had lots of people give up. Um, and that give up comes because they, it's a learned skill. So you will find the resources in several of the, um, other people's experience by saying they'll start with 12 hours of fasting they'll move to 24 which is called one meal a day or you'll see the acronym OMAD one meal a day um, on the social media and they stay at that for a while um, but where I really see the reversal of this spike of cortisol from stored stored glucose called uh, glycogen uh, is when they make it to the 36 hour fast uh, 36 hour fast is very, uh, there's a very good little trick to getting the hang of it. Uh, and that is that you use two sections of eight hours where you sleep. So 16 hours of this, you're sleeping. So that, and if you set it up just right, it, it does work out pretty well. So the first few times I did a 36 hour fast, we had supper around five or six o'clock. And then I actually, I went to bed <laughs> probably around seven o'clock. I was usually just as a way to say, okay, I'm just going to shut off. You get up the next morning and you, that's the day you fast. And so you put the little salt in your, in your um, pocket in case you get hunger. That salt really does help you get through that wave of hunger. Hunger is not a constant thing. It comes in a wave and then it goes away and it comes in a wave and it goes away. So if you can put that little salt tablet on the tip, tip of your tongue while you're fasting, it really does make a huge difference. But I would encourage you to have black coffee, have um, salt, and you really just need to make it through that day and then get to bed <laughs> so that you get again another night of sleeping so you get the 24 hours of, of uh, fasting plus you get two sections of eight hours of sleeping and that's how you get to 36 hours um, amazing how fast um, that 36 hours after they've done two or three of those turns into 48 hours so i just will encourage you to um, create a support group <laughs> even if it's just a group of buddies playing cards saying all right I'm gonna try to fast anybody want to try to do this with me I would encourage that they use their ketones um, before they do that um, uh, and the support groups are something I am trying to push my audiences to try to do in their own communities you know the reason I started this uh, this Facebook was so that my patients had a place to go to to learn I couldn't afford the time it took to teach them within the exam room about this diet and so I would ask them to read the book and some of them just didn't have the brain capacity to focus on a book long term and so then I asked them to listen to audiobook and they really had a, had a struggle with that as well so that's where the YouTube channel came from 
you know, about a year ago, I went from a couple thousand subscribers to over 50,000 and now we're up to 170. And what I'm looking for is that now we take these people and you create support groups in your own community. Use the playlist called Any Way You Can as your curriculum, just as a way to teach people one little lesson at a time. You know, show up, do not make it about food, make it about learning and encouraging each other. Um, and I just have seen that little, you know, 20 seconds of courage to create a support group in hopes to, um, to create pockets of ketonians using this platform which is free uh, to change the way that we can improve the health of our country. So um, again, there's lots more questions out there. I am going to call it uh, a wrap and say again, uh, I appreciate all of you, all of all of you tuning in. I'm going to stay get a little better view of where I'm at. Again, one more shout out here to the uh, the press lounge. Uh, this uh, background and behind me is, without a doubt, uh, an incredible uh, gift for being able to say thank you for letting me use your uh, deck as a place that I uh, got to do my Facebook live or my YouTube live and again I look forward to next week and I will try to keep going back to all these questions I've got several uh, big lessons I'm working on answering some of the cholesterol questions that I have in there as well as some of the fasting questions and I just want to say thank you very much for everybody tuning in I'm Dr. Boz improving your health one ketone at a time until next week, everybody, signing off.